Reproductively, organisms can be categorized into two groups, K-strategists and R-strategists. K-strategists maximize their populations near carrying capacity, and this is really easy to remember because K stands for carrying capacity. R-strategists maximize their population rate of growth, so R stands for rate of growth. An example of a K-strategist would be the mammal, and an example of the R-strategist would be the insect. So R-strategists tend to occur when there's little competition for resources and the environment is nowhere near carrying capacity. So they reproduce really rapidly while there's still room for growth and there's an abundance of resources. So you can think insects have a lot of offspring because there's enough resources to go all around. So the main difference between K-strategists and R-strategists reproductive-wise is that K-strategists have intensive parenting, whereas R-strategists don't have much parenting at all. And this difference in parenting styles lends to all the other differences in these two reproductive strategists. So the next difference, K-strategists can produce a few large young, whereas our strategists will produce many small young. And the reason for this is that because K strategists have an intensive parenting style, they can afford to produce few young because their young all have a high survival rate. But our strategists, because they give no parenting, their young generally have a much lower survival rate, so they have to produce many young to compensate for this low survival. The next difference, K-strategists offspring pr mature slowly, whereas R-strategists offspring mature quickly. And again, this goes back to parenting. So K-strategists can parent their offspring until they're done maturing. So it gives their offspring a lot of time to mature. So that's why they mature slowly. But R-strategists don't have any parenting, so the offspring must mature quickly to learn how to survive by themselves in the environment. The last difference, K strategists reproduce many times, whereas R strategists reproduce once. So R strategists will reproduce all their offspring in one fell swoop. And this makes sense because they don't have to parent their offspring. So they can just reproduce all of them at once and then send them off into the world. But K strategists have to give individual attention to their offspring. So they can't have hundreds of offspring to take care of at once. They can only have a few offspring at a time to slowly parent them and allow them mature and grow before they're sent off into the world. So they reproduce many times, but only a few offspring each time. So both R and K strategists have developed under different life history conditions and fit to the needs of the organisms.